In today's show, uh, I'm going to explain what is Arcot.com. Um, is Arcot.com safe? Uh, why you're seeing sales from Arcot.com in your Google Analytics account, and how to tidy up that data from attributing sales to Arcot.com in Google Analytics, and kind of messing up your data and to see where your sales are coming from. So welcome to another Tea Time show with me, Mark Tillerson. Uh, I run Tillerson Consulting. Uh, we're a consultancy and agency uh, providing managed services and consultancy for e-commerce clients around uh, Google Analytics, pay-per-click, uh, SEO and conversion rate optimization. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments uh, about this video. If you're stuck with this area and you want some help, um, then feel free to comment. We love to hear from you. Um, and if you'd like to hire us to help you solve some of these problems or improve your sales, you can find us at tillerson.co.uk. So firstly, what is arcot.com? Uh, so you might see secure4.arcot.com, uh, secure5, tsys.arcot.com in your Google Analytics account. Um, so arcot.com is basically a payment validation service. So um, this only really shows up on e-commerce stores. Um, and what's happening is a user is uh, arriving on your website, adding things to the shopping cart, uh, going to pay with their Visa or MasterCard, heading off to arcot.com or uh, secure7.arcot.com um, and then that server is then returning that visitor back to your website as a referral. Um, so is arcot.com safe? Uh, yes, sure it is. Uh, it's a partnership with uh, Visa. Um, so yes, completely safe. It's not a scam, nothing to worry about. It's not fake traffic or anything like that. Um, yes, it's completely safe. So why are we seeing sales attributed to arcot.com in analytics? Um, so analytics generally will attribute the sale and the value of that sale um, to the, uh, the source of the last click uh, to the website. And what's happening is someone is clicking a Google Shopping ad, they're landing on your product page, uh, they're adding that to the cart, um, going through the payment process and then being redirected from your site off to uh, secure3.arcot.com um, and then that server is returning that user as a referral back to your website and that creates a new Google Analytics session um, which means the sale is then being attributed to arcot.com uh, or tsys.arcot.com or whatever uh, payment uh, gateway is, is uh, the referrer. So um, that causes us a problem because now we are attributing sales to arcot.com that aren't coming from there. It's just processing the payment. It's not the source of that traffic. Let me show you how that data shows up in analytics and how we can then uh, optimize the Google Analytics settings to stop that reporting um, in that way. So where you will see this in Google Analytics is if you head into acquisition, where traffic is coming from, um, all traffic and then referrals, and then we'll see uh, secure.arcot.com, uh, secure7.arcot.com, we've got secure5, we've got tsys.arcot, we've got secure6.arcot.com. So uh, they're just a, a multitude of different servers they're using to balance the load of processes that, that they're going through. Uh, but they're all coming from that same domain, arcot.com. And we can see in here that actually uh, secure4.arcot.com, uh, we've had 175 transactions and 5,000 pounds worth of sales. Now I can guarantee you that nobody came directly from arcot.com and bought something. They came from Google Shopping or Bing Shopping, they came through organic, they came through paid search, uh, they came through Facebook ads, they came through email marketing, they could have come through any number of legitimate sources. Um, but arcot.com and its uh, various forms is stealing the attribution of those sales. The other place that we will see this is if we head into conversions and we look at multi-channel funnels and the model comparison tool. So this is where we can change the attribution models. So the standard uh, method is last interaction. Um, and we can see if we look at the last interaction conversions, we've had 1,043 conversions and 37,000 pounds worth of sales from referral traffic. If we click into referral traffic, we can now see there's our secure4.arcot.com, secure7.arcot.com. We've got a secure Barclay card in here as well. We've got Lloyd's TSB, verified by Visa.Barclays. We've got secure6. So lots more of these Arcot domains showing up. And you can see that it's attributing these sales. Now, if we 
select a uh, let's look at first interaction sale and we compare that you can now see there are no sales from the first interaction from any of these and that's because they're not the first interaction um, they never are they are always the last interaction so if we then look at a linear attribution model uh, there is a full video on the different model comparisons which I'll put a link in the comment in the description for you um, but you can now see so linear divides uh, the conversion by the number of clicks and then uh, divides it equally so when there's uh, say a click on Google Shopping and then a referral from secure4.arcot.com Google Ads is now getting half the credit and secure4.arcot.com and that top line is also getting half the credit so we can see that this proves that actually this is coming from somewhere else first and then uh, going off to arcot.com and then being referred back again which is wrong we, we totally don't want that so next I'm just going to show you how to stop that happening so you need to head to admin uh, assuming that you have admin access uh, tracking info and then referral exclusion list so in here what we do is exclude uh, the domains that we do not want to count as a referral this will not stop the traffic coming to your site um, the traffic is perfectly legitimate it's normal it's perfectly healthy it's secure it's sensible it's exactly doing what it should do it is just that Google Analytics is counting that source as a referral and the referral exclusion list essentially is us saying we want you to ignore that so if uh, if um, arcot.com uh, features as a referral just forget that click so what it will then do is attribute the sale to the click that happened before okay so if someone does genuinely come from arcot.com and buy something which is never going to happen that would still count as arcot.com however if someone comes from Google Shopping then goes off to arcot then comes back again it will count and attribute all of that sale all of that revenue back to Google Shopping cleaning up your data so all you need to do here is add a referral exclusion and arcot.com um, you don't need to worry about adding secure2.arcot.com, secure3.arcot.com, secure4. secure5. and all of the rest of them. Um, you only have to use arcot.com exactly as I've put it there and that will exclude uh, anything.arcot.com, secure53.arcot.com, TSRS or YS or whatever it is at arcot.com um, and literally just click the, hit the create button it'll add it to your list of referral exclusions and from this point forward it will then stop counting referrals from arcot.com it will not change the historic data um, in your account so you will magically start seeing in your reports Google Shopping's created more sales for you and organic has created more sales um, actually it may not have it's just that it's now being attributed properly and and Google Shopping and organic and Bing Shopping and Facebook ads uh, and Facebook sharing and email and all the other sources and all the other um, uh, methods they use to get traffic are actually now getting the full credit that they need and they should have so you're just measuring better um, if you are stuck with this uh, or you have some problems with analytics uh, please comment uh, in, the, in the comments and would certainly love to help you uh, or you can hire us for some coaching some consultancy uh, or some managed services to help you get more sales through your e-commerce store at tillerson.co.uk